I know we're all tired after this long day and uh, probably a good amount of information. So two uh, simple things, um, just watch. First is I will demonstrate one of our additional libraries, uh, pedestrian simulation, and another one is uh, rail yard library. Uh, Vladimir, maybe you can uh, comment because I think this is a kind of uh, model close to the to real projects you performed somewhere in France. Uh, uh, yes, it was all the project uh, for um, Saint Charles. Oh, you can you can talk French. C'était le projet qui de consultation que nous avons fait pour métro de saint charles à Marseille, mais c'était pas réalisation du projet, mais c'était un des variables. Et le but de simulation était vérifier les différents projets d'architectes quand on change le sens des escalators, escaliers, quand on euh, place les euh, distributeurs automatiques dans tel ou tel place, etc. Et euh, nous avons utilisé les bibliothèques de Python, qui en fait, euh, les bibliothèques, c'est purement, euh, et, et vous définissez votre euh, modèle que, comme processus de déplacement avec Python, mais par contre, à l'intérieur, tout est interaction entre agents. C'est-à-dire, chaque personne qui se déplace, c'est un agent indépendant avec les, leurs propres objectifs, euh, peut-être avec leurs propres caractéristiques physiques, comme taille, comme agressivité, poids. Euh, les, les touristes euh, qui se déplacent à Lourdes, américains et japonais, c'est pas la même chose. C'est-à-dire, euh, certaines caractéristiques individuelles. Et dedans, il y a un comportement purement réactif, c'est-à-dire éviter obstacles, éviter autres personnes. Si vous êtes dans les files d'attente, il faut avoir un fil d'attente, etc. Mais à un niveau supérieur, vous pouvez, pouvez définir assez simplement le comportement cognitif, le choix. On a fait les, les, les projets pour le Tour Eiffel, pour, pour le Louvre. On a, de simuler l'emploiement du Japon dans la salle actuelle, dans la salle des États. En fait, c'est ce nom qui est conseillé ou le placé, parce que le projet de changement de place pour le Japon était stoppé pour deux ans. Et on a participé dans une discussion avec les populations pour justement le choix d'emploiement du de Japon par rapport au flou et par, par rapport au comportement des visiteurs dans, dans la salle. Et il y a dedans pas uniquement un comportement individuel, mais le comportement du groupe. Le plus difficile, c'est simuler le comportement des petits groupes. Quand il y a le groupe de 20 personnes qui se déplacent, il y a l'église, etc. Mais quand il y a les familles, les guides, les gamins, etc., et le père s'arrête, ça, ça joue considérablement pour l'utilisation de l'espace. Et dans l'espace longtemps, c'est quelque chose qui est essentiel. Et les, 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 les applications, plus souvent, c'est le métro. On a fait plusieurs gares, des simulations, on a fait le tour du monde, même à Saint-Étienne. Pour le stade de Saint-Étienne, on a travaillé ici, en 90. Et en fait, si les gars au point, musée, on a fait printemps, c'est-à-dire où il a le déplacement de Python, où il a l'espace qu'on prend, où il a les décisions à prendre pour se déplacer. Thank you. Ok, oui. So yeah, just what you're seeing is a density map, and as as you can uh, have seen, you you have multiple views. You have like 2D view, you have uh, uh, 3D view, and uh, density map view on, on the pedestrians. And this is on our abstraction level. It's pretty low abstraction level, right? This is uh, pre uh, precise physical modeling of moving objects. Uh, the other libraries are rail library, and um, Let's see. 
This is a uh, uh, basically a made up hump yard, um, demo hump yard. This is a uh, 2D view where how the uh, uh, cars of different destinations are actually uh, uh, classified here on these tracks. And the classification map method is, uh, is hump. And you have 3D view on the same thing. And once the uh, number of cars accumulates on a track, uh, an engine comes from here and takes uh, the, the, uh, the train away. Like this, this train, yeah, it's gone. And the logic is described in only about 20 flowchart blocks. So this is a pretty, you know, uh, medium-sized logic because uh, you need to specify movement of uh, rail cars and engines, coupling and decoupling. And uh, uh, it's only done with a very few objects and zero coding using um, uh, any logic rail library. And uh, just to finish with some um, model that again reminds you that any logic is very good at combining things together, uh, this last model, railroad station is uh, actually the combination of the two previous things. The camera is put on the passenger train, which will appear in a second. And the uh, pedestrians are uh, modeled with the pedestrian library. Um, For pedestrian, you don't have uh, any kind of allegation? In this case, no, 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 not. Okay. In most uh, station, uh, you have most problem because yeah. some people are. Very right, so that's a, yeah, that's a good remark. You can, uh, let's say, model it by specifying the larger diameter of pedestrian, but it will not be visual uh, nicely. Probably correct in the, from the statistical viewpoint, but not... Um, okay, so here the two models are combined, and uh, yeah, I think we'd better uh, go to questions and answers. One of the uh, questions... Could, could you explain that the base connection? Yeah, that's... Uh, mm -hmm. So, I have two pre-written uh, pre questions. Um, link to Excel databases and uh, save and restore the model state at runtime. So, I'll first uh, answer this one. Um, let's take... Oh, which model? PR subway. Let's take epidemic and clinic model. Run it. Uh, remember the visual picture, the, the picture you're, you're seeing at the moment. Uh, what I'll do, I'll see save. You can do this programmatically, but you can also do it from the uh, I'll save it on the, uh, let's see, desktop. This will be, what I'm saving is a snapshot of the running model. The immediate state. Save. Okay. Uh, it's been saved. I can continue from here in this run. I can close this. And I can uh, run this model again. But instead of running it, I will load the previously saved state. And uh, here it is. So uh, the AnyLogic is capable of completely serializing the state of agents, flowcharts, etc., saving it in a file and then restoring the state. So that, that was to your question. 
Uh, with respect to database connectivity, we have a uh, connectivity palette here with um, objects like Excel, text, database, and uh, uh, some additional objects. And what you can do, uh, if you're interested in how this is done, go to example models, models from the big book, and the chapter you need is exchanging data with external world. Here you will uh, ha have all these examples. For example, um, text file, uh, CSV file. In this model we have several airplanes and uh, we have a text file, uh, a CSV file with uh, plain parameters. So when the model is run, the plane's parameters and coordinates are read from a text file. You can do the same thing with Excel and with databases uh, in, in any logic. Okay, so just to save your time, I will again uh, refer you to the uh, book chapter, what was it? exchanging data with external world. And there is a number of example models how to do that. Okay. Exchange with database, uh, which uh, language of database? Uh, which, uh, which, uh, uh, for the database, um, um, you have Excel Access, uh, SQL Server, or other, and then you need a Java driver for the database. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. You have GIS on here in a presentation palette, and uh, an example that we have is here. Okay, this map is a GIS map. Uh, to display this map here, you have a um, shape file and um, a DBF file. Uh, you can specify that agents live in geographical space, which means their coordinates would not be just real numbers, but they will be longitude and latitudes. Um, and uh, this simple example that comes with the software Uh, shows you that you can display the GIS map and let agents move in GIS space. And uh, I have selected this plane and uh, you see that the uh, uh, coordinates of the plane are longitude and latitude and their geographical space coordinates. Can we ask you a question about yeah. the future? I mean, uh, I guess you have a current development project. Oh yeah, oh yeah. What, what is expected about the next version of the system? Uh, Many, uh, many things. Mm, first of all, we're uh, on the discrete event modeling side, we're uh, making the resource management much more sophisticated than was in any logic before and than currently uh, is in any other tool. Uh, this is especially uh, good for, let's say, healthcare applications. For example, you will be able to request I want like either uh, a doctor or maybe two nurses with different backgrounds and uh, if I want a doctor, I want the doctor that has, has been treating me last time, so the sophisticated resource requests, sophisticated tasks, um, task management like, okay, finish this task before the shift ends, uh, or sorry, uh, 
or continue working on this up to the, the end or postpone to the second day, etc. So resource management, very sophisticated. Then space, we will unify all kinds of space. Uh, for example, pedestrians see walls. The uh, entities walk along the paths. We will unify all that so you will be able to tell the agent, okay, uh, find the shortest path in the walls or use this network for movement, etc. Uh, important thing is unification of entity, resource unit and agent. This will be one simple thing. So, uh, like in our uh, epidemic and clinic model, you remember probably that the patient was creating a sort of entity treatment request that was injected into the process. In new analogic, you will be able to inject the, he will be able to inject himself into the process. So entity equals agents in our next analogic version. Uh, scenario management manager with uh, uh, a database uh, that will uh, uh, you will be able to use for managing your experiments that will remember your previous runs, previous parameter sets, so a lot more comfortable um, uh, scenario manager. And, well, a lot of more new, new things actually. About the support, uh, you've told about a big book, right? Uh, 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 what if there are students that need the help because they have tough projects and uh, they cannot find inside the book what they they need. Do they have the possibility to call someone or Oh yeah, we do, we do support for uh, both commercial and educational students. Uh, the policy is that we uh, help to build models, not just to fix bugs. Uh, what we don't do is students frequently write to support things like, okay, do the project for me. That kind of things we, we don't do. We uh, but if the student uh, asks, okay, something is wrong with this model, can you look? We will look and uh, suggest what can be fixed. Or even if the student writes, I am trying to model this phenomena and I'm using this kind of construct in the model and language, is this correct or not? We also answer this kind of questions. Um, more questions? Okay, yeah, thank you guys for coming, thanks for being here, and uh, if anybody happens to be in, uh, in, um, at Wintersim in uh, Washington DC, we're holding Analogic Conference the next day and the next door to the Wintersim, so please uh, do come. The last, last year attendance was in Berlin, that was over 100 people, so the community is growing and you're very welcome to, to join us. Thank you.